Hello, today we're gonna to talk about troubleshooting. This goes for plugs and lights, stuff like that. But before we get started, two things I gotta address. Uh, the rumor of Charlie Starin and I being an item is true. Number two, I'm not Bradley Cooper. But since I told people on my job about me shitting my pants a few times, they call me Bradley Pooper. Let's just get that out of the way. Now let's get started. You ever walk by uh, your lamp or something or other, you walk by and you're stomping through like me, your fat ass, and uh, it flickers. Like, huh, what could that be? There'll be a number of things I'm gonna walk you through uh, what it is, how I troubleshoot stuff, and how to fix it. Um, just uh, my way, uh, you can comment or what have you, but if you wanna comment on how you would do it, then get your own uh, YouTube channel. Fair enough? Okay, here we go. First thing we're gonna do is check the light bulb. No, it's flickering. I'm walking by and it's flickering. I'm tightening it. Nothing, it's not flickering. Huh, not the light bulb. Second thing we're gonna do, let's just check that plug. Maybe something's wrong with that plug. Remember to shut off the power first, right? And how you could do that, I stick a radio in my plug and then I go and I flip breakers off and on, off and on until I find that I can't hear that radio jamming out some old Van Halen. And then I know that I've got the circuit. That's easy. Since the power's off, now we can safely take out the receptacle. Because I am El Jefe, the boss, that means I can do it, right? But you're the boss too. It's your house. So we undid it, or undid it, took out the plug. Pulled it out. The lamp was plugged in here. I mean, everything seems tight. You could even smell it. it smells as if anything's been cooking in there. Nothing. Light's still flickering. Huh, what do I do now? I'm puzzled. Some of your problem can be the way that the plugs are wired. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways how to do that. And I'm gonna show you the pitfalls, the goods, the bads, the uglies, but these plugs are stabbed in the back. And I'm gonna explain to you uh, what that means and what can be good or bad, so, okay? Next step, what I do, so I'll go, I know these circuit, I know these plugs are on the same circuit as that lamp because I just do. How about that? Because when I shut it off, I put the lamp in the other outlets and that told me what's on that same circuit. Now, what I do, I go through and I bang on the walls or, uh, around each outlet, nothing. Then I'll go bang on the outlet, bang on that one. Oh, look at that. There's a problem. We don't know which way the circuit's coming in or out or what it's feeding, but chances are down the line from that, there's other issues. But for all intents and purposes, this is the issue. So let's take a look inside here and see what it could be. Lo and behold, the neutral pulled out. Somebody stabbed it in the back and didn't stab it so well, and it just popped out. And um, well, okay, we found that outlet. We found what the problem was. Now let me explain to you how to fix this and uh, what, how we move forward in the future and what's right and what's wrong with how they wired this. Okay, this is called backstabbing these outlets. Stab your neutral, your hot, in, neutral, hot, out, okay? So in essence, this device is acts like a wire nut, let's just say. And because we wired these outlets in one outlet, out the other, from outlet to outlet, our lamp was over here, but the problem was over here, right? alternating current it goes back and forth so anything down the line from this outlet because power came in here boom boom that one was bad if you had 10 outlets it'd be hard to troubleshoot that because you're wiring them in series and you're wiring them in the back of these outlets and you don't know which outlet went bad so there's a way to solve that and i'll show you right now a good way to defeat this problem of feeding the circuits through the plugs when going in the back, uh, the plug might get hot because there's a load on it. There's a load down there. There's a vacuum cleaner always on or microwave or what have you. Well, that's a 20 amp circuit. But what I'm getting at is there's a load down the road. It's always on all the other plugs. It's going in and going out. So these plugs are just as hot as that outlet might, might get that's being used as much because the circuit is getting used. Therefore, it could heat up the outlets. And then a lot of electricians don't like using the backstabs because they do fault sometimes, but they are legal. You can do it. I'm not gonna talk bad against it. Um, but the foolproof that you don't uh, use your outlets or uh, as a 
connecting device where they can get hot and go bad because one goes bad in the middle you don't know where it is you got to take out all the plugs to find it that's the pain in the ass so now so what i do is so i just parallel the wires and wire it differently so parallel now we take let's say our in and our out line and load is what we call it okay and we twist them all together Boom, I cut off the excess that I have there. I don't know if you can see that. All right. Excuse me, gotta grab a wire knife and get a close up of Bradley Cooper again. Charlie's don't seem to mind. She ain't kicking me out of bed for eating crackers. In bed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Uh, but anyways, boom. Okay, I wire nutted all, all of those down. So now my wire nut's uh, doing its job inside the box. And I plug it, I just go ahead, I could either stab it in or wrap it around my terminal. You wrap it around clockwise, the way that, that the uh, terminal is tightening down, you wire it that way so it doesn't push the wire out. This, in essence, takes the troubleshooting worries out of everything because this isn't going to happen. If a plug's bad because it got hot or what have you, ran a compressor on it, suddenly it got bad, you know it's just the outlet. It's not the wiring because everything's in parallel. All the wire nuts are stuffed in the box and stabbed or wrapped into the outlet itself. So if that light is flickering on that lamp, now it's got to be that doggone plug. Now, this isn't 100% of the time, but what I'm telling you is this is how we reduce that. Now, if you're in lighting, you see lights flickering. Lights flickering is bad. First, we check the bulbs, but if something is just dangling uh, next to the terminal or what have you, it's a bad connection to the wire nuts, which that happens all the time too, that's danger. Take the thing down now. If it's a bad fixture or whatever, danger. Flickering, that's arcing. Arcing's bad, right? We don't want anything to arc. And if you have kindling, just like a flint rock in the sticks or hay, then there's a problem. So anything flickering, get to it now it's important okay so and that's about it that's about all there is to the uh, uh troubleshooting i mean like say bang on the wall bang on the outlet or start where somebody else left off if there's two wrapped on and the two romexes were just stabbed in somebody left off there so that's the first rule of thumb of any electrician start where somebody left off and even if you moved furniture start there you might have banged it with a couch or something rather who knows so, okay, well, I'm going to go have tacos and beer now. Uh, yesterday wasn't too rough. It was St. Patty's Day. I don't go out on amateur hour, so I stay home. So, uh, old Lenny here, Bradley Cooper's twin, uh, man candy, sorry. That's what my friends call me. Um, I stayed in, so I'm going to have a couple of beers, some tacos. I'm good. Stay safe. Like and share if you would. I'd appreciate it. And uh, have a good day.